Today is Indigenous Peoples Day, and as a result, Governor Evers formally apologized for the role Wisconsin played in Native American boarding schools. Reporter Katie Furtenden has the story of one of these schools when it operated in northern Wisconsin. It's a really traumatic history for the Native Americans, but it's also a story that needs to be told. In the north woods of Wisconsin, a structure still stands. This is the Lac de Flambeau boarding school, where from 1895 until 1932, hundreds of Native American children were taken from their families to be taught under the U.S. government. A majority of them were from the Potawatomi community, Ho-Chunk, Menominee. There are a few Lac de Flambeau tribal members here, um, mainly because our villages were across the lake where the children would escape and go home, and then, then the people would have to go back and kind of wrangle the children back. So eventually what they started doing was um, sending the, um, the Lac Flambo children off reservation to other boarding schools so it would be harder for them to return to their families. Only one building remains of the large complex that housed more than 150 students and multiple staff members each year. This building was the boys' dormitory, and stories of what happened here have been passed down for generations. He would always say that they would either get locked into a room, and they were, they were there until they agreed that they wouldn't speak their language or kind of retaliate as they thought children were retaliating by speaking their language or trying to leave and wanting to go home. These rooms, witness to that painful part of tribal history, now seeing a powerful and beautiful future for the tribe and its people. It's kind of like we're putting a, our foot down. Now they're teaching the language of their tribe, learning and creating like their ancestors and celebrating their culture. No more taking, you know, just our culture alone. And we're just trying to preserve that as, you know, future generations go on and just teaching our children, you know, our culture rather than just one side of the culture that they only know in the history books. In 1891, the U.S. government designated Toma as the site for a new Native American school and the purpose, providing an education to Native Americans to assimilate into American culture. The school opened in January of 1893 with seven employees and seven students. It grew to nearly 400 students, mostly from the Ho-Chunk Nation. The Toma Indian Industrial School closed in 1935.